morning and welcome to the EQD, the Encouraging Quarantine Devotion. And I know, let's let's just get it out there so that everybody knows. It's not this fantasy world that I'm existing in or anything like that. I'm aware that the quarantine is pretty much done and so therefore obsolete. But the encouraging part is still relevant and the devotion part is still relevant. So since we're still landing in two out of three, let's keep going by calling it the Encouraging Quarantine Devotion, the place where we study God's Word together and we pray for each other in hopes that you and I will share this with as many people as we can in our conversation, but then also on our news feeds. Hey, we would love for you to like, share, or comment. Let's, man, I desperately would love to see more conversation about these videos. What's God showing you when we read these things together, when we're going through this together? What's your prayer? Write it out in the comments below. Let's uh, let's just keep going together through this. I'm going to take you to a place that I um, am, am excited about in Colossians chapter 3, and there's so much application that can uh, that can just be centered around this idea, and it's going to leave thoughts in your mind to just keep growing throughout the day. There's not going to be like one final point that we land on or one single application, but rather it's a mindset that we hope for, and that mindset is what sets the tone for the day. So if you need to get your mind in the right place, let's do that in Colossians chapter 3. Here's what it says in verses 1 and 2. If then you have been raised with Christ, in other words, if you're a follower of Jesus, seek the things that are above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things that are above and not on things that are on earth. Hey, it is a call for us to have a mindset and a mentality that really is uplifting and encouraging. There is this 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 difference given throughout the word of God of the things of God being the higher things, the mountain of God and, and uh, that lead me to that place that is higher than me and the call of God being something that we arise to and, and, and that, that there is that picture like in Jonah of the things of the earth being the spiral that we experience down where we go down into the pit and down into depression and down and down and, and there's all of this imagery. So the image is of death and destruction being down and then life being up. So we go up up to those places. And that's what it's talking about here in Colossians chapter 3. If you've been raised with Christ, in other words, you are no longer down in the pit of despondency and all those things. If you've been raised with Christ, then set your mind on things that are above, the higher things, the good things, the, the things that encourage life and the things that send us upward and not on the things that are on earth. Are you finding yourself distracted by so many things? Man, I do constantly that I, I find myself caught up in stories and ideas and, and uh, uh, just mindless things that don't amount to anything and they don't lift me up. In fact, I find myself discouraged by them or beaten down by them or whatever it may be. And I'm not called to those things. The things of God's word are much higher. So I should put down the things that need to be down and then lift higher the things that need to be higher. So why don't you aim at that today? That's my prayer for you. That's my hope for you. Man, that's my prayer for me. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to close out this morning's devotion with that thought right there. It launches you to a place that you can discuss in the comments what the things discuss down in the comments. That kind of seems bad because we're just, but anyway, you, you get what I'm saying. Discuss in the comments the things that God maybe lays on your heart and your mind. What are the things that are things of the earth that you're thinking of right now that God's laid on your mind? What are the things that are higher that you should spend time thinking about? Leave your comments down below. Let's have a conversation about this while we also meditate and think on it throughout the rest of the day. Let me pray for you. God, we're people that have been called higher. We're people that have been called to a, a, a higher place, a greater place. Uh, um, we've been raised with you, and, and there is death when we go down, and there is life when we rise to the place that you've called us to. So God, teach us what this means. It's a metaphor. It's a, it's a, it's a parable, whatever it is. But there are those things that we should shed out of our minds, God. And I pray that you give us the ability to do that, to be able to sort through and think through those things. God, will you make us people that aim at the higher things, the things that are above, the heavenly things, the good things, the things that you promote, not the things that are promoted in the world that we're a part of. And God, it will set the tone for the day. 
It will set our minds in the place it needs to be, and we'll give you the glory and the praise. We love you. It's your name we pray. Amen.